Hello, welcome to the channel and all honor and praise and glory go to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, welcome to the conference. I just wanted to come on to um, encourage you all to um, always make sure that you are led of the Holy Spirit. Um, I think that seeking counsel from Father a lot of times can be dependent upon whatever your relationship is with him because um, there are those that feel like you have to go and get God. You have to go and find God, you know, and then there are those that may know he's with you all the time. See, I'm one of those type of people. He's with me all the time. So that's the reason why I, I don't um, accept uh, any counsel other than what comes from father. Um, I will listen to other counsel and exercise my free will whether or not if I want to accept it. But I will say that I know God for myself. And um, you all should know God for yourselves. And um, be led of the Holy Spirit in any assignment that um, Father has sent you all to do. I know. I never walk into anything blindly. Um, I always know what's going on around me. And uh, I feel that you all should always know what's going on around you. Now, I'm not saying I know everything. No. But I'm saying I know what I need to know. And I know what I know. And um, ministering is very important because that's what, that's, that is our purpose. But in all things, get wisdom. You understand? And um, in all things, get understanding. And... Um, Continue to do whatever it is that Father has placed you all on your assignments to do. As I am going to continue to do what Father has intended for me to do. Um, there may be people, I want you to know, they may not understand your flow. They may not understand your hustle and your flow, meaning how you do things. And um, there are those that may stand on the outside and they may perceive things to be a way that it is not. But I can honestly say that um, as far as me and my God, um, Father and I are always on top of things. And of course, Father's always on top of things. But I always know what's going on between Father and I because my relationship is with Him. And I don't move unless He says move. I don't speak unless He authorizes me to speak. And my footsteps are ordered by the Lord. And everybody that I minister to and who is receptive of what I have to say I feel like that is somebody that is assigned to the ministry that I bring you know and the father conveys to whoever needs the message through me you understand and so um, I just want to emphasize how important it is that you know father for yourselves and um, and I do and that's not me bragging or trying to exalt myself above measure, but I'm just telling you, I mean, I know him, okay? And that doesn't make me perfect. No, I'm not perfect. But it puts me in an awareness of how I should tread along my journey um, in this thing we call life, okay? I don't enter into anything blindly. Um, there's nobody that um, is snaking around me that has me deceived. I know exactly what I'm looking at when I look at a person. I know exactly who I'm dealing with when I deal with a person. And um, my footsteps are ordered by the Lord. And um, if there is somebody or a group of people that I'm assigned to minister to, I'm going to, of course, do it the way Father wants me to do it. And then, of course, I always put my own little two cents in. We all do, you know. But uh, and, and by that I mean, you know, some of you out there who are ministers, whether if you have a platform on the stage or if you have a social media or whatever, you're always going to maybe place a personal experience into your messages. And that's a good thing because um, somebody will be able, perhaps someone will be able to relate uh, to something that you've said um, and um, come to a determination as to how they are to settle a dispute or a confrontation or a situation or um, whatever, what have you in their lives, you know, I think that um, as ministering spirits, 
there will always be something that somebody out there that's lost that needs to be found can take from something that you say, you know, or something that you share. And I know that the things I share, it doesn't mean that, um, that I'm overcome by those things. It's just experiences that I choose to share. I don't share anything that's personal. I just share what is of a necessity to assist others in my work for the kingdom of God, as I will continue to do. And as Father authorizes me to do. And if there's something that he does not want me to share, trust me, he will let me know. No, don't speak on that. And if there's something that um, he doesn't mind being out there, then he knows I can share it. Because see, what Father knows is this. There are things that you can say, and the way that you speak them, that may not be how they are received. And the devil will try to twist your messages and try to make them backfire on you. So that it looks as if you are speaking or confiding in the world when you're not confiding in the world. You're just sharing with the world enemy tactics and strategy, strategy on the battlefield. No, you don't ever confide in the world. But you can take attacks that come from the world and speak it back out to the world to somebody that needs to hear it. You understand what I'm saying? So when Father feels that you may say something or speak a word that the enemy may try to twist and run you up in a snag or make you look bad, he'll say, no, don't speak on that. Because Satan is going to take that and try to twist it and turn it to make you look bad. So, and, and that's just who Father is. He always manages the messages. I, I don't know about you all, but he manages my messages. And um, if I ever send a message out there and it's taken the wrong way, well, then Father comes back and he says, okay, we're going to make, he doesn't say it like this particularly, but we make another video. And we break it down for people who misinterpret what the message, the initial message was all about. Because I'm the type of chick, I, I don't like being misunderstood. And I'm sure many of you all don't either, and I don't have a problem. coming. I'll, I'll break it down with a hammer. I'll break it down with whatever I need to break it down with to make sure that I am understood, and first and foremost, that Father is understood, and that the message that he was trying to bring forth through me is understood by whoever needed to hear it. Okay? So, um... Just, you know, continue to do what you all are doing for Father and always, always, always seek the counsel of the Holy Spirit so that what comes forth from your mouth um, is delivered in the right way and interpreted the right way, even though you will be misunderstood. But if you are, fret not, because Father's on top of his game and he will always um, come back and uh, show you a way or strategy to perhaps re-deliver the message so that um, it is not misunderstood and so that it is broken down into compartments and pieces so that you compartmentalize everything and that people will have a, a truthful understanding as to the message that you were trying to deliver or that you were attempting to uh, deliver to whoever it needed to be received by. Okay, if that makes sense to you all, and I hope it does. Um, so anyway, I'll continue to do what you're doing and be the best versions of yourself and continue to uplift the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and no other and um, don't exalt anybody you only exalt Father you can praise people as far as giving them encouragement but all, or, all glory, honor and praise go to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and Him alone because God is God all by Himself and He don't need nobody else and uh, with that said God bless you all until next time continue to walk in the counsel of the Holy Spirit you know where your relationship is with God, if nobody else knows, okay? And that is what you stand on, and that is what your faith is built on, and that is what your foundation is built upon. Because Jesus Christ is, is the solid rock by which we all should stand, because all other ground is seeking sand. Whatever it is you're doing, continue to do. If people don't receive your words, shake the dust off your feet, okay? But you continue to do it the way that God Almighty has told you to do it. And if Father has sent you towards somebody, go and if they don't receive your words shake the dust and you continue to listen to uh, the counsel of the Holy Spirit because only you all know what your personal relationship with Jesus Christ is okay so God and um God bless you all until next time and um that's it